everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. I have just subscribed to ChatGPT Plus and I quickly wanted to cover what all you get with that subscription. And please take a note that this is not the comparison video between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. By default, when you sign up or log in at chat.openai.com for free, you get access to GPT 3.5. And it is a great model to interact with for everyday tasks. It is widely used for AI-driven text generation for various applications including basic content creation, coding help, and for learning purposes. But GPT 3.5 have limitations like limited context window, it can only manage approximately 4000 tokens at a time, it lacks multimodality which means 3.5 can only process text inputs and cannot handle other type of input like images. It lacks the ability to generate long text outputs. It has no memory of past interactions and more. Having said that, GPT 3.5 is a great AI advancement you can leverage for a variety of tasks for free but not so free. Ideally, you are trading your interaction data with ChatGPT which is further used for improving model performance and for training purposes. But that is altogether a different topic. Later on, OpenAI built and released the most advanced model that is GPT-4 which also overcame many limitations of GPT-3.5. GPT-4 supports extended context which means it can handle significantly longer pieces of text with its enhanced context window. It is able to handle different input types including text, images or visual inputs. The architectural advancements and scaling in GPT-4 potentially lead to better comprehension and contextual understanding. It can manage up to 32,000 tokens at a time, faster response time, bias mitigations and more. But all this comes at a cost of $20 per month which is a chat GPT plus subscription. So now let's see what we get with the chat GPT plus subscription. With chat GPT plus subscription, you not only get access to the GPT-4 model, but you also get access to many beta features and other benefits. General access even during peak times. ChatGPT Plus subscribers get guaranteed access to ChatGPT even during times when the service is in high demand. Faster response times. Subscribers get quicker replies compared to free version of ChatGPT resulting in enhanced response time. Priority access to new features and improvements. Subscribers receive priority access to new features, improvements, and the latest upgrades like GPT-4 and ChatGPT plugins before they are rolled out to other users. Greater availability and reliability. If you are someone who requires consistent access to ChatGPT, then the ChatGPT Plus subscription provides more reliable service with greater availability. Global Availability ChatGPT Plus is available to customers across the globe. Enhanced User Experience The combination of access to advanced models like GPT-4, quicker replies, early access to new functionalities, and assured availability during high demand periods elevates the user experience. This makes the subscription a valuable consideration for users who frequently depend on ChatGPT for diverse tasks. Now let me take you to the chat.openai.com as a part of the hands-on. When you subscribe to ChatGPT Plus, by default the interface looks something like this. Here you get access to GPT 3.5 and to the successor of 3.5 that is GPT 4. Apart from GPT 4 model, you also get access to DAL E3 which is an AI system that can generate uh, or create realistic images and art based on the description in natural language. Now there are also other beta features that you can access but you need to enable them explicitly. So I will show you how you can enable them uh, in a moment. But before we go there, let's quickly try GPT-4's multimodal functionality, specifically the visual input feature. So we are going to drop or attach an image and we will ask GPT-4 default model to analyze it for us. Currently, I have selected GPT 3.5 model and it does not support visual inputs. 
And to process visual input or images, we are going to select GPT-4 default model. Once you select the default model, an option to attach images will be enabled on the left side of the chat box. So let's click on that and upload the image. And I'm going to provide a text saying analyze the content of this image and then click on send. The picture I uploaded contains the goodies that I received from AWS as a part of the AWS Community Builder program. Now let's wait for GPT model to come up with the analysis. As you can see, GPT-4 did a pretty well job at identifying and describing the content of the image, given that the image is not clear enough to detect everything correctly. Also, the summary at the end makes sense and it's true. So with GPT-4 model, you can use text and visuals as input. As a next step, let's try to generate or create image using text with the help of DAL-E model. So I will open a new chat and select DAL E3 model which will create images for us based on text. So here I already have a prompt which will generate images of an ancient tree with golden leaves imagining the place where tiny alien resides with miniature ships and fairy lights everywhere. So let me copy and paste the prompt in the chat box. The model will take some time to create the images and ideally it will create and return four images at a time. And here are the beautiful images. It seems that the model generates another prompt based on our input to generate the images. And you can also see the prompt generated by the model on the right side. Now it is not necessary that you have to provide a very long prompt to the model for image creation. You can also provide a single liner like iPhone 100 years from now. But for good and relevant results, it is recommended to provide more details about what you want. And here are the images that the model has generated. So basically DAL E is a cool model which can literally convert your imagination into images with the help of language. So that's DAL E3. Now as a next step, let's enable other beta features. To enable beta features, you need to click on this three dots on the bottom left corner and click on settings and beta. Click on beta features and you can enable all the features from here. So I'm going to enable browse with Bing, plugins, advanced data analysis, and so on. Now, once we enable it, you need to click on new chat. And now if you hover over GPT-4, then you will be able to see all the option. For now, let's select the default GPT-4 model. Now let's say we want to access information that is time sensitive and it is very recent. So this week or maybe last week there was a cricket match between India and Pakistan as a part of the Cricket World Cup 2023. And now I want to get the summary of that particular cricket match between India and Pakistan. So let's try to ask the GPT-4 model to generate a summary for that. So I will say give me the summary of the india versus pakistan 2023 world cup cricket match and press enter so the gpt4 default model is saying i'm sorry but my last training data only goes up to January 2022 so I cannot provide a summary of the India versus Pakistan 2023 World Cup cricket match. So as you can see GPT-4 is unable to handle this request. Now to handle this kind of request you can leverage browse with Bing feature. So click on new chat, hover over GPT-4 and select browse with Bing.
Now here we are going to copy the same prompt that is give me the summary of the India versus Pakistan 2023 World Cup cricket match and paste it over here and say enter. Now here the GPT model is browsing the internet to pull the latest data about India versus Pakistan 2023 World Cup cricket match. And once it pulls the information from different sources, it's going to provide us the summary of the same. So here the model finished the browsing and here is the summary and key highlights it generated for us. And it looks good to me. And here you can also check the reference links which links back to the source of this information. So this is how you can use browse with Bing feature to access time sensitive and recent events. The next feature that I want to cover is GPT's advanced data analysis. So to access that feature click on new chat, hover over to GPT-4 and select advanced data analysis. Now as soon as you select advanced data analysis, it will allow you or provide you an option to upload or attach the files. So here with this option, you can upload different types of files like uh, JPG, PNG, CSV, Excel or PDF. So here in this case, I'm going to attach customer.csv and this file looks something like this. So it is a very simple file which contains customer ID, it contains gender but the column name is incorrect which says January, age, income, spending score and subscription. So I'm going to select this file and click on open. And without typing any text I will simply say send. So now it will analyze that file. It says I see that you have uploaded a file named customer.csv and how may I assist you with it. So I'll simply say, I want to perform customer segmentation. Please proceed with that analysis and say enter. So now it is proceeding forward to perform the customer segmentation. And if you click on show work, you will be able to actually see the code that it is generating to analyze that particular file. So here as you can see uh, it used pandas to read the CSV file and then uh, it provided us the information about the column names. So here even though the column name was incorrect which should be gender but it was January but it correctly identified that this is the gender of the customer which is male or female and there is other description as well of respective columns. And as you scroll down, it says, do you have any specific columns in mind for clustering or should I proceed with the most relevant columns such as age, income and spending score? Additionally, do you have a preference for the number of clusters or would you like me to determine the optimal number? Here, instead of explicitly providing my input, I will just ask the model to proceed with whatever the model think is best. The model came up with the number of steps which the model is going to perform for customer segmentation. It will start with data standardization followed by determining the optimal number of clusters using elbow method. Then it will perform k-means clustering and finally the analysis of the segments. You can click on show work to view the python code it is generating and using to accomplish the listed steps. And as you can see, here is the cluster information or customer segments along with potential strategies for targeting each segment. And at the end, it is asking us if we would like to visualize it. I would simply say scatter plot. And finally, we have scatter plot across three dimensions, which is age, income, and spending score, along with explanation and description. And you can further interact with the model for different type of analysis or any sort of deep dive. So it looks like data analysis is made simple with GPT.
Another beta feature that ChatGPT Plus provides is ChatGPT plugins. You can use the desired plugin by installing it from the plugin store and then you can get started. So plugins are great for well-defined or streamlined tasks and if you want to interact with third-party applications via ChatGPT then plugins are the way to go. So all you need to do is open a new chat, hover over to GPT-4 and select plugins. And then you can open plugin store and install whichever plugins that you like. So this is plugin store. So guys, this is chat GPT plus subscription and its features that you get in a nutshell. One point to note here is that you do not get access to API as a part of the chat GPT plus subscriptions you will be charged separately for API access. Please let me know in the comment box what you think about ChatGPT in general and ChatGPT Plus subscription. Would you consider subscribing to it? Let me know in the comment section. So guys, that's all for this video. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.